Larry Sprinkle here at our studios at WCNC Charlotte in the First Warren Storm Center. Today's subject has nothing to do with weather. It's all about earthquakes. Every time I visit schools, I always get a lot of questions about earthquakes. How do they happen? Where do they happen? Could they happen right here? Look at that bicycle moving. Speaking of happening, that's the result of an earthquake. Earthquakes can do a lot of things. Very dangerous. Very deadly. Very powerful. Enough to open up the earth right there and leave that giant fissure. The earth itself is fascinating because of a lot of reasons. One of those is the fact that there's an outer layer called the earth's crust. It's a layer of rock and there are 20 plates along the surface of the earth known as tectonic plates. They move continuously, slowly moving past each other and when those those plates squeeze or stretch Huge rocks form at their edges, and those rocks shift with great force. That is a lot of energy. There's a big collision as that energy moves to the Earth. That is an earthquake. Look at that right there. Really, really scary, isn't it? The energy of an earthquake is measured by a seismograph, and when the readings look like this, that means there's not a lot going on. But when they start moving like that, that means there's definitely an earthquake. And this, this is a real seismograph reading right here. You can see the squiggly lines in the middle. That means there's been an earthquake. Earthquakes last between about 10 to 30 seconds, enough to do things like that, cause a giant fissure in the earth. Earthquake magnitude scale. The, the, the seismograph measures this. Now, when it's a 2.5 or less, that means uh, they're usually not felt but they're recorded by the seismograph, from a 2.5 to 5.4, often felt but only causes minor damage. A 5.5 to a 6, that means there's slight damage to buildings and other structures. When it's a 6.1, it's a 6.9, that can cause a lot of damage in very populated areas. When it's a 7.0 to 7.9 earthquake, that is a major earthquake, serious damage. Anything above 8, is a great earthquake, can totally destroy communities near the epicenter. And speaking of earthquakes, the year was 1886. There was an earthquake in Charleston, South Carolina that caused a lot of damage. It was a 6.5 to 7 on the scale. There was a magnitude of 6.5 to 7. So yes, they can even happen in the Carolinas. To do something like that? Well, normally not. Normally here locally, we can get a 1.0 to 1.5. A few people can feel it enough to make people talk about it. Now, this is the chance of earthquakes in the United States. Where can they happen? Most of our earthquakes in the United States, most of the severe earthquakes, happen on the West Coast, anywhere from Washington to Oregon, all the way down to California, San Francisco, Los Angeles. That's the major area right there. There are a million earthquakes around the world every year. Some of those could even hit around Charleston. You can see a small area there. There's another area where we get earthquakes. It's the New Madrid Fault. That's around the Memphis area. And then once again, they can happen just about anywhere. <laughs>